August 7th. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for friends who help show me back to you. And I thank you for this time to read your word. I ask for my friends and my family who need supernatural healing, God, that you would do a miracle in their lives. You know their hearts. You know how they're seeking you, how they love you. I pray that you would bless them and heal them through and through. That if there's anything spiritual that is attacking them, that you would bind it and cast it away from them. I pray that you would bless this time of reading your word, that you would help us to see and understand and know your truth. Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen. Ezra 4.24-6.22 through 622. Thus the work of the house of God, which is at Jerusalem, ceased, and it was discontinued until the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Then the prophet Haggai and Zechariah the son of Edo, prophets, prophesied to the Jews who were in Judah and Jerusalem, in the name of the God of Israel who was over them. So Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and Yeshua, the son of Josadak, rose up and began to build the house of God, which is in Jerusalem. And the prophets of God were with them, helping them. At the same time, Tatanai, the governor of the region beyond the river, and Shethar Bosnai and their companions came to them and spoke thus to them, Who has commanded you to build this temple and finish this wall? Then accordingly we told them the names of the men who were constructing this building. But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, so that they could not make them cease till a report could go to Darius. Then a written answer was returned concerning this matter. This is a copy of the letter that Tatanei sent. The governor of the region beyond the river, and Shethar Bosnei and his companions, the Persians who were in the region beyond the river, to Darius the king. They sent a letter to him, in which was written thus, To Darius the king, all peace. Let it be known to the king that we went into the province of Judea, to the temple of the great God, which is being built with heavy stones, and timber is being laid in the walls. And this work goes on diligently and prospers in their hands. Then we asked those elders and spoke thus to them, Who commanded you to build this temple and to finish these walls? We also asked them their names to inform you that we might write the names of the men who were chief among them. And thus they returned us an answer, saying, We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth, and we are rebuilding the temple that was built many years ago, which a great king of Israel built and completed. But because our fathers provoked the God of heaven to wrath, he gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, the Chaldean, who destroyed this temple and carried the people away to Babylon. However, in the first year of Cyrus king of Babylon, King Cyrus issued a decree to build this house of God, also the gold and silver articles of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar had taken from the temple that was in Jerusalem and carried into the temple of Babylon. Those King Cyrus took from the temple of Babylon, and they were given to one named Sheshbazar, whom he had made governor. And he said to them, Take these articles, go, carry them to the temple site that is in Jerusalem, and let the house of God be rebuilt on its former site. Then the same Sheshbazar came and laid the foundation of the house of God which is in Jerusalem. But from that time, even until now, it has been under construction, and it is not finished. Now therefore, if it seems good to the king, let a search be made in the king's treasure house, which is there in Babylon, whether it is so that a decree was issued by King Cyrus to build this house of God at Jerusalem, and let the king send us his pleasure concerning this matter. Then King Darius issued a decree, and a search was made in the archives, 
where the treasures were stored in Babylon, and at Akmetha, in the palace that is in the province of Media. A scroll was found, and in it a record was written thus. The first year of King Cyrus, King Cyrus issued a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem. Let the house be rebuilt, the place where they offered sacrifices, and let the foundations of it be firmly laid, its height sixty cubits, and its width sixty cubits, with three rows of heavy stones and one row of new timber. Let the expense be paid from the king's treasury. Also, let the gold and silver articles of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took from the temple which is in Jerusalem and brought to Babylon, be restored and taken back to the temple which is in Jerusalem, each to its place, and deposit them in the house of God. Now therefore, Tatanei, governor of the region beyond the river, and Shethnar Bosnei, and your companions the Persians, who are beyond the river, keep yourselves far from there. Let the work of this house of God alone. Let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God on its site. Moreover, I issue a decree as to what you shall do for the elders of these Jews, for the building of this house of God. Let the cost be paid at the king's expense from taxes on the region beyond the river. This is to be given immediately to these men, so that they are not hindered. And whatever they need, young bulls, rams, and lambs for the burnt offerings to the God of heaven, wheat, salt, wine, and oil, according to the request of the priests who are in Jerusalem, let it be given them day by day without fail that they may offer sacrifices of sweet aroma to the God of heaven, and pray for the life of the king and his sons. Also I issue a decree that whoever alters this edict, let a timber be pulled from his house and erected, and let him be hanged on it, and let his house be made a refuse heap because of this. And may the God who causes his name to dwell there destroy any king or people who put their hand to alter it, or to destroy this house of God which is in Jerusalem. I, Darius, issue a decree. Let it be done diligently. Then Tatanei, governor of the region beyond the river, Shethar, Bosnei, and their companions diligently did according to what King Darius had sent. So the elders of the Jews built, and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built and finished it, according to the commandment of the God of Israel, and according to the command of Cyrus, Darius, and Artaxerxes, king of Persia. Now the temple was finished on the third day of the month of Adar, which is in the sixth year of the reign of King Darius. Then the children of Israel, the priests and the Levites, and the rest of the descendants of the captivity, celebrated the dedication of this house of God with joy, and they offered sacrifices at the dedication of this house of God, one hundred bulls, two hundred rams, four hundred lambs, and as a sin offering for all Israel, twelve male goats, according to the number of the tribes of Israel. They assigned the priests to their divisions, and the Levites to their divisions, over the service of God in Jerusalem, as it is written, in the book of Moses. And the descendants of the captivity kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the first month. For the priests and the Levites had purified themselves. All of them were ritually clean, and they slaughtered the Passover lambs for all the descendants of the captivity, for their brethren the priests, and for themselves. Then the children of Israel, who had returned from the captivity, ate together with all who had separated themselves from the filth of the nations of the land in order to seek the Lord God of Israel. And they kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with joy. For the Lord made them joyful, and turned the heart of the king of Assyria toward them, to strengthen their hands in the work of the house of God, the God of Israel. 1 Corinthians 3, 5-23 who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers, 
through whom you believed, as the Lord gave to each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God who gives the increase. Now he who plants and he who waters are one, and each one will receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, you are God's building. According to the grace of God which was given to me, as a wise master builder I have laid the foundation, and another builds on it. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. For no other foundation can any one lay than that which is laid, which is Christ Jesus. Now if any one builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become clear, for the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If any one's work which he has built on it endures, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God is holy which temple you are. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you seems to be wise in this age, let him become a fool that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He catches the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. Therefore let no one boast in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or things present, or things to come. All are yours, and you are Christ's, and Christ is God's. Psalm 29, 1-11 A Psalm of David Give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones, Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forests bare. And in his temple, everyone says, Glory! The Lord sat enthroned at the flood, and the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Proverbs twenty twenty six through 27 A wise king sifts out the wicked and brings the threshing wheel over them. The spirit of a man is the lamp of the Lord, searching all the inner depths of his heart. Thank you for joining me as we read Scripture for Life. Jesus, I pray that you would bless our souls with this nourishment from your word. Amen.